Hi, my name is Tom. Before um, we get down to it, um, I hope you're staying safe in the lockdown. I wanted to just quickly introduce myself and uh, talk about where I am at the moment. So this is my studio in Bristol. Um, I'm just ripping it apart um, due to the lockdown and taking it all home, or some of it home, as you can see. Got, um, my BM15s have been taken home at the moment, uh, a bunch with a, a load of other kit. And yeah, so I've created something which um, I'm sure you might be interested in if you're <laughs> listening to this video. Uh, it's a bunch of hardware chucked in a box, screwed together, and I can take it anywhere I want uh, and make music on it without a computer. Um, so that's basically the uh, the idea, and I'm going to show you in more detail uh, right now. On a side note, for those who are ripping their studios apart and taking them home, don't forget your rock wall. Welcome to my studio at home. So that was a lot of fun, stripping out my studio in Bristol, uh, bringing all the stuff home and setting up in a small room. Um, so if you want to learn about anything to do with small room acoustics and setting up a studio in a bedroom, uh, let me know, I'll do a video. Um, so yeah, this is it. I'm gonna show you now what I've created and what I hope to be playing a lot with over the next uh, couple of years and doing some live shows with. Here we go. There it is. It hasn't got a proper name yet, but I'm hoping uh, maybe some of you might come up with one. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give you a quick tour and uh, then give you a, a little demo of some ideas that I'm starting to put together as I learn how to use it. So first of all, um, everything's screwed into this box. It's a flight case, uh, it's all connected and you can just take the two mains cables and plug them in. So when I actually do some live shows at parties, actual gigs, um, it's gonna be easy, just open it up and off you go. Right, let's do this. So, here's the Digitact. That's the brain. It's where all the tempo and MIDI comes from uh, and tells what all the other things should be doing. Um, so I also use it as a sampler and all the sounds from this, the audio sounds, go through this first before the mixing desk. Uh, this is the analog heat, which is a great saturation distortion filter unit. Um, it was really good fun. Um, to the left of the Digitax we've got the Digitone, that's an FM synthesizer, it's got four tracks of uh, sequencing and it's also got four tracks of MIDI sequencing, uh, which I actually use that to sequence the ideas going into the Axis Virus, uh, which is a great multi-timbral synthesizer, um, you can actually do 16 layers of synthesis, not that you'd ever need that. Um, it'd probably run out of processing power if you do. Um, so yeah, four tracks of Axis Virus, four tracks of Digitone, and the uh, Digitact going through the analog heat. Um, so those sounds all go to the mixing desk. Other stuff that's going on, I've got the TR8 doing all the 808, 909, 707, 606 sounds, and I've got the TB3, which is the 303 emulation. Had those for quite a few years. They're great fun, they're actually really quick to manipulate and change and um, have fun with. And alongside that is my, uh, I've got a soft spot for the, the JXA3. It's um, a great little synthesizer, um, some classic sounds in there. Um, and then some real audio looping. I've got my trumpet or guitar, or if I dare, some vocals, and put that in here. And that's all synced up with MIDI tempo syncing as well. And that goes through into the mixer. So this mixer, you might have seen one before, it's an MX1. Um, yeah, not nothing else out there really that can do what this does. Uh, it's great for um, patches. Um, so if you start using it and making all sorts of crazy changes, you can just recall back to a setting um, so you don't need to worry about getting lost. Uh, which It's got some all right things on it in terms of effects. It's got um, a delay which sort of works. The scatter thing's all right if you use it right. Uh, yeah, the other things sound a bit cheesy to me. Um, so I don't really use those. The actual effect sounds come from the virus because this has got six um, outputs or three pairs. And so I use one of the pair of outputs just for delay and reverb effects because the reverb and delays on here are fantastic. Um, and yeah, I've also forgot, I've got the Deco Strymon, which is a lovely tape saturation. Um, and one, it's two channel, I've, uh, they're separate channels. You can have it separate or stereo. Um, so one, channel is being used for the TB3 303 sound going through it and the other channel is for 
the drum sounds from this machine going through it, apart from the kick drum, I've got that separate, so the saturation doesn't go through there. Um, so yeah, that is the tour, and um, let's give you a little demo, just a little one, mind. Here we go.
there you go that's what it does so far thanks for watching